Friday, February 23rd, E-Day. I'm, I'm Greg Bram. And I'm Ed Longest. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for school announcements. 17 days and counting until the 42nd annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in Mayapack on Sunday, March 11th at 2 p.m. March with Kennedy Catholic and show off your Kennedy pride. All students, family, and alumni are welcome. Sign up to march in front of Mr. Bruder, Mr. O'Bruder's office inside the library. Commemorative marching shirts are also available at a special student rate. See you on March 11th. Calling all baseball, softball, and lacrosse players, as well as track, men's golf, and tennis. Please have your parents register you on the online at, e -fa at Family ID. Check to make sure that the nurse has your physical to try out. The Kennedy Vex Robotics team was at a uh, tournament at the Harvey Schools today. with William. Hello, I'm William Kasberg and this is This Day in History. In 1861, Abraham Lincoln and his entourage show up unexpectedly at the World Hotel in Washington, D.C., foiling a Baltimore plot against his life. In 1940, folk singer Woody Gerthy writes one of the best-known songs, This Land is Your Land. In 1945, Five, during the Battle for Iwo Jima, U.S. Marines raised the American flag atop Mount Suribachi, the highest point on the island of Iwo Jima and a key strategic point. And in 1954, a group of children from Arsenal Elementary School in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, received the first injections of the new polio vaccine developed by Dr. Jonas Salk. That's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. And in breaking news, last night the very first panel of this year's Conservative Political Action Conference took direct aim at the state of journalism in the United States. This annual gathering is usually a moment to hammer out what divides the conservatives. What it has revealed so far is what unites it, contempt for hashtag fake news. Uh, news writer Ben Shapiro memorably described as advocates of leftism masquerading as objective truth tellers. Mr. Shapiro, a pr uh, provocateur with a growing following among millennial conservatives, brought the crowd to its feet when he declared, the media are lying about you, they are lying about me. And for our feature stories, parents, parents berate themselves for staying glued to their smart smartphones, but they're even more worried about their kids can't detach from the small screen. A survey from Common Sense Media and SurveyMonkey found 47% of parents worry their child is attached to their mobile device. By comparison, only 32% of parents say that they're addicted them, they are addicted themselves. Half of the parents also say that they are at least somewhat concerned about how mobile devices will affect their kids' mental health. Nearly one in five says they're extremely or very concerned. Disney and Marvel's Black Panther is rewriting the record books, topping Star Wars The Last Jedi for the second highest four-day domestic opening of all time with $242 million. The superhero pick sent a record, set a record for top Monday domestic gross ever with $40.2 million, edging the previous high set by Star Wars The Force Awakens at $40.1 million. The Monday total came in $7 million above the studio's projections and lifted the four-day haul to $242 million. Black Panther has grossed the second highest four-day total of all time, only behind Star Wars The Force Awakens at $288.1 million and $400,000 ahead of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And now over to Gibby with sports. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Gibby with your sports. In the NBA, the Knicks topped the Magic 120 to 113. Burke had 26 points, and the Wizards beat the Cavaliers 110 to 103. Doing all he could, LeBron scored 32 points. In the NFL, in breaking news, Josh Allen is, is the new projected number one in the draft. He is 6'5 and has the biggest hands in the draft. In the NHL, the Oilers beat the Avalanche 3 to 2, and the Rangers lose to the Canadians 3 to 1. 
in the Olympics women's ice hockey wins the gold medal after beating Canada in a shootout. Girls basketball, the varsity playoff game is tomorrow at 2 o'clock. The theme is a whack out, so basically wear the most outrageous outfit you can imagine, and it is mandatory for boys lacrosse to attend. Boys lacrosse, we need someone to film home and away games. If you are interested, please contact Greg Brand at gbrand at kennedycatholic.org. That's all for sports. Now back over to the anchors. Well, I'm Ed Longest. And I'm Greg Brand. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a great, great day. day.